I'm going to show today how to uh, do foam sclerotherapy of the bulging veins in the back of the hands, the dorsal veins. The treatment should be really limited to just dorsal area, not extended to other veins, not extended also to the finger veins, if there are veins here. And I, I would not inject also thumb veins too. So for foam, I use a polydocanol solution and you can start from 0.25% to 1% depending on the size. The volume is kept about 3-4 cc and there is a special technique that I have found to be very safe. Thousands of cases I've done and has never been a problem. I'll use CO2 gas to make foam, not air. And uh, I have uh, done away with use, use, using air to make foam uh, for many years. Okay, so here it comes, we're using 1% polydocanol and it's a one-on-one -on -one ratio between the liquid and foam and this is uh, so one ml liquid was used the rest was gas from co2 so i go to the largest and right here in between the knuckles and i go in the vein and i'm injecting come and press the wrist and now my assistant as i'm injecting press now the wrist presses the on the wrist so there will be back flow of this and we keep the foam at a high good concentration in contact with endothelium uh, for a few i keep pressure here we will raise the hand and then massage this distally from proximal to distal so that nothing goes out. Of course, using CO2 helps the foam get, uh, the gas part get dissolved very fast. Uh, but with air, it's a different story and we're gonna have air bubbles for a very long time, even in the cerebral circulation. Uh, so just, uh, I prefer to use the medical grade CO2. So after this, I do uh, maybe one other injection for a smaller injection for some side branches. Then we put a, a very low tension coban uh, compression tape between from you know this level to just above the wrist and we keep the fingers out and uh, activities are all, all normal that compression is kept four to six hours and then i see the patient within five to seven days we will have trapped blood we will have a little thread of thrombus inside the vein we'll we'll just poke and squeeze them out with a with a special technique it, on the hands is different how we have to remove it than uh, for the legs. So I'll show that on a, another video.